entire country, I think I'm the most luckiest coalition party's uh, uh, candidate. For any politician, there is no retirement, you know. There shouldn't be a retirement. Whatever government says, we are going to do this. Four lakhs are very sure uh, that it has to come to us. When I'm in Shumoga, interestingly, this is the district which has given two chief ministers, S. Bangarappa and Yadiyurappa, and now their sons are contesting against, against each other for becoming member of parliament. And I am joined by Madhu Bangarappa, he's a coalition candidate for Shumoga constituency. So thanks for joining thank us. Uh, sir, you're fighting against a big uh, leader now. So you're feeling nervous, sir, or like how <laughs> it is? <laughs> for any election, when you go for war, if you feel nervous, you lose the war. But one thing I will tell you, this is not about two individual people uh, regarding two uh, ex-chief ministers' children. No, it is not like that. It's between two representatives, whether they can hold on to their constituency. Okay, they have got, they got a chance. Out of 10 years, one time uh, Mr. Yadiyurappa had, one time, two times uh, Mr. Raghavendra had. Whether they have raised the voice or been the voice of Shimoga is a, is, a, is a question. And as of now, they don't have anything to say as as of the, uh, ever they have uh, raised a voice as far as our uh, constituency is concerned. That is the reason they are asking vote in the name of Modi. In the name of Modi, where Modi also has lost his face uh, in our constituency. And even uh, both of them. So they don't have a face value. Not Modi has a face value. So there should be a new uh, change in the face value. That is going to be me. That's what I feel because I have, whether I have won or lost, Always I have been uh, fighting for the cause of the people, which you can generally ask with the people for irrigation especially. Uh, I was not in power. Mr. Yadiyurappa was in power. His son was uh, a member of parliament. At that time they couldn't execute these uh, irrigation projects. Now, we did Padhyatra everything. After I lost also, Mr. Kumar Swami, our chief minister, has uh, uh, allotted uh, almost about 600 and odd crores on the first stage, another two stage, about less than 2,000 crores. He's going to do it in next one, one and a half year. Uh, sir, in case uh, BJP, um, like the calculation goes wrong, if BJP wins uh, in Mandya and also in Shumaga, you think um, uh, Kumara Samay should go on uh, moral responsibility? Uh, should he uh, resign? See, first of all, this uh, question will not arise because BJP doesn't have any kind of base and BJP has not filled its candidate in Mandya. So BJP has lost before the election has started. So you don't have to get them in in uh, uh, you know, Mandya. That is number one. So there is no question of uh, you know, uh, resigning or uh, whatever it is or stepping down and all that. That will never happen. That is number one. Number two, when you come to Shumoga, I am very confident people have raised their voice on their own that they need a change and they will change. So on 23rd May, if you ask this question, then I will answer that because it's not a right time for me to answer because this kind of question will never arise, arise after 23rd May. So the coordination between JDS and uh, Congress is very crucial. Uh, but we could see that there were cracks in Mandya, Tumkur and other places also. A couple of leaders, they went rebel. So how in the... Like, what is the scene in Sh Shumoga? In the entire country, I think I'm the most luckiest uh, uh, you know, uh, coalition, coalition party's uh, uh, candidate. Uh, I'm very happy that there is nothing like that. And little was there. And after 25 years, even in Badravati, though everybody was working, Congress and JDS were working together, the main leaders also have shook hand. They have embraced themselves in, in presence of Mr. D.K. Shukumar, which I wanted uh, Mr. D.K. Shukumar to come and uh, take care of this particular issue on behalf of me. And I'm very happy that Mr. Sangmeshwar and Mr. Apaja Goda are, have said that we will leave our personal differences and then work for in the interest of Madhu Bangarappa because we need a change and we need Madhu Bangarappa here. Sir, yesterday at a rally, uh, Sidramaya has said that uh, in case if there is any damage to the constitution, there will be the uh, bloodbath. So, you think that it is it's a good, no. uh, it's the right thing to say? See, sir? constitution is the way of life for our Indian people. It has been very well, uh, you know, addressed and written by our uh, father of uh, constitution, that is uh, Baba, Dr. Baba Sahib uh, Ambedkarji. And we shouldn't touch that. You can renovate it a little bit or in the interest of living together better than what we have been doing. But you should never touch that. And people who have said that, 
you know, we should, should it, it, it is really, uh, people are going to get uh, really angry. I think in, the, in that interest or in that contest, I think Mr. Sidramaya would have said that. That's what I feel. Okay. So, Mr. Sidramaya also had made a comment that uh, if he becomes a CM, he will again start giving 10 kilos of rice. So, you see this as a ploy or is there a threat for JDS no, no, camps? No, no. See, he has been uh, chief minister of our part, uh, of our uh, state and he has done very good, uh, you know, uh, work as far as uh, public representative. So whenever he becomes, if he is going to do that, I think it, you know, we should welcome that. And I think that uh, we will uh, talk at the appropriate time. And if this can be in implemented, even when uh, Kumarana also is there as chief minister, I think they both will speak because they both are in a very higher level. And I should really uh, not think much about all those things. Uh, but this is a very good program. Uh, you know, I, I will certainly put in a word. But I, but uh, the other part. You know, I can't really answer all those things and I will not be answering or, uh, anything like that. Sir, uh, Devagoda has uh, said that this will be uh, his uh, last election uh, stint. So, does that make uh, mean that he will also retire by becoming a PM? Uh, should yeah, that happen, sir? I think, I think for any politician there is no retirement, you know. There shouldn't be a retirement. And expertise of Mr. Devagoda as a public representative and a prime minister of our country, his contribution is very huge. You know, that shouldn't go for waste. Our kind of people need his blessings. As an MP also, he should do that. As a prime minister, he has done that. And I think he should always be. And I don't think we will not allow him to retire from politics at least. And if, it, if he has said uh, that this is my last election, I think that is his personal view. But I think if time permits and then in future if we need him, we will certainly force him to contest again also. So what's your take on uh, third friend, sir? Because the Mamta Banerjee, Chandra Babu Naidu all have uh, come and uh, say that they, they, they would probably form the government. They will not allow BJP to come. But, so, yeah, so see, third front or uh, this Mahagati Bandhan and all those things, whatever is happening, is against BJP. As long as BJP is kept out, I think that is good for our country. And in that interest, I think good will always happen. Let that uh, come into force after May 23rd. So, what are the three things that uh, Madhu Bangarapa plans to do for Shumaga if he gets elected? See, number one, basic uh, certain issues are there which has to be addressed from the central government. Basically, people who are living in forest area and then who are waiting for land rights in the forest uh, cultivation where they have done. For that, a little um, you know rules and regulations have to be uh, corrected in the in the house, Parliament House. That is very important right now because people have been sentenced to jail now, which has that progress has started. That has to immediately be stopped. Number one, in Malnad area, everybody thinks even you also. It is always green and very beautiful, and uh, you know there is no drought only. But we have started uh, you know getting affected with drought also. So we have to do a proper irrigation because we give water for everybody, but we are not able to use it. You know, so that is the main second one, which already state government has already started implementing as far as irrigation projects are concerned, that is number two. And second, always we have to live happily together and we have to implement. The most important is whatever government says, we are going to do this. And if that allocation is there, we will see to it that I'm not a, like, I should be like a postman. I should properly take the programs, deliver it to the people. That is the person and that is the duty of a public representative at whatever given chance. Since our government is here and it's going to change in central, which is going to come together and I am see to that all the programs are implemented to the end person, whatever the interest of the governments are. Okay. So last time the losing margin was 50,000. Yes, it was 365,000 earlier. Now it has come down to 52,000. 50, 52, that I could achieve in only 52, 50, uh, in only 13 days because I was not here. I came, filed the nomination, started working. So I did everything in 13 days. Now I have worked for almost about 38 days. I have covered maximum. If any little bit of uneasiness or any, you know, any differences are there, that has been sorted out. Everybody is working together. It is not my election. Everybody is working as if it is their election. So I think uh, this time it is going to be a very huge margin. And about 4 lakh voters, we couldn't convert them. They were still there. Voting percentage only was uh, uh, 10 lakhs was the voting uh, final this thing. We have about 16 and odd lakhs. So still 6 lakhs are there. Out of that, 4 lakhs are very sure uh, that it has to come to us. But the 13 days we couldn't convert. I think this, this time we have already converted and trying to convert even BJP also since there is no Modi wave or their progress in their uh, respective places. And they are sick of their own 
candidate i think uh, this this is very good and i'm very sure that i'll win in a very huge march so one last question sir when your father was here he turned it as a congress bashan yadurappa hmm. turned this into bjp bashan now it's turn your turn so will you um, ensure that it becomes a bjp uh, jds force i wish it will happen because that will be good for our uh, constituency and uh, i'm very sure that that's going to happen in this election well that was madhu bangarappa expressing full confidence of thumping victory so we wish him all the best